it's Matthew here in Grenada, the island of spice. Beautiful place. Today I'm going on a hike with Ras Jinga. He has an incredible property in the mountains, very close to the sea. And we're going to check out a waterfall that's actually quite near his place and learn about all the plants that are around on the way and whatever else we get into on this hike here. So very excited. It's my first bush hike here in Grenada. Oh yeah, I can see I'm glad I wore shoes already. Yeah. And I should have brought my hiking boots, but my skateboard shoes will do. Yo, yo. So Ross Jinga has a YouTube channel. I'm gonna link it right below. Please subscribe to him. Him and his team are making some amazing stuff. And they also have a great Instagram with some beautiful photos and videos. So I'll link both the uh, YouTube and Instagram below. Man, it's amazing how everywhere in Grenada you can kind of see this, the sea, right? Yeah, you see, that's a place we call Hope Beach. Okay. Yeah, so if you want to get there now, you go on the main where we come from. And we go right around and follow the main road. And that's Hope Beach right there. Mm -hmm. So it's like a, a city they belong there with some big houses where people buy pot of lands and build some houses. From there to come right back, so it's Hope Land. That was our estate again. That was Hope Estate. Okay. In them time, you know, they used to do sugar cane and thing in the country, you know? A lot of sugar cane. So all them time, you know, Mama Kian was a place they plant a lot of sugar cane. That's where the name come from, Mama Kian. Mm. Mean mother of cane. Mm -hmm. You understand? So over here was more cane and down so was more property to grow bananas, cocoa, nutmeg. All around the estate house yeah. was them thing. And behind the house now they used to make the kitchen garden where they could get the seasoning, the thyme, the carrot, the lettuce close to the house. You know? Right. We got one little goat down there yeah, no enjoying. <laughs> I mean we've just been walking for a minute, so it's already just epic. Yeah. Wow. That's a higher mountain than this one over there. I see. This one over there, over there is Mount Plima Mountain. Over there now is an, a place they call Munich. But between Munich, you have places they give names. Like villages have their own name. Mm -hmm. So down here is Bamboo. On top of the hill is Bamboo Hill. That's where a few Rasta men live over there too, you know what I mean? So. It's a nice place. You see all over there, people used to live all over there so. But they live there and go down lower down. I don't know why people live in high and go low. And if they have a a washout with the water in the sea, they have to run out from the low <laughs> yeah, and come yeah. up to the hills. Yeah. So it's better to stay in the hills that the water can reach you. Right now you have some country what flooding just to where they live. You understand? You can't live in water and don't expect you to get flood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. True. All this land here was the estate. All going back over there. Just massive. like Yeah. Uh, Nobody worked the land, so it's just a big washer woods, woods you've seen all over with bamboos and all kind of different trees. That's the amazing thing is my first experience here, first few days, is seeing how much nature is still left yeah, in Grenada. It's beautiful. Yeah, the people... So much, like the majority of the island is still yeah, natural. Yeah, and we're going to... They don't damage too much of the trees in Grenada because some, some country, when you look at them, they go in the mountain and cut down a lot of trees. And should they have big river running from the mountain? They take the big trees and let the water bring it down. But we don't have that. The river we got is not this big wash river that could bring down all them things here. And you as a man, you ain't gonna live here and go over there and cut a big tree to bring down in your house. You understand? So all the land stay natural as it is. You know, in some place need people walk to have some food, you know what I mean? Because you can't have all the land in the bush and you don't plant food. But some place need to stay as it is like over the mountain hills and valley all over the so you stay like that that's the nature that's the beauty of the country if you fly over here with a plane low and you see the country you you wonder if that is grenada <laughs> you understand because it looks like there's no one there almost bro you understand because yeah. 
you see so many big wood, big trees all over the country. It's not only one place, all over the country. You go in St. Patrick's, all over you go, you have some big trees in the mountain. Because Grenada is a hill and valley place. You understand? That's why I make the people live in the hill and valley and run down to the flat, down by the sea. But when they go down close to the sea, they get washed out. You understand? So, over here is the best, man. That's a mountain I want to go by, but I need some company to go there, you know? Yeah. Because the guys are wrong, they don't... They don't want to go and do no hiking, not me. I'd go and do that one. They just want to sit on home. I'd get my boots on for that one. You see home and they get old and they don't go nowhere in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot of sweet potato. That's yeah. a huge plot there. Yeah, and you still go put some more because he, he fuck up the land there to plant some more. So yeah. would that just be one farmer doing that on his own? Yeah, yeah. One man will do that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, because as we talked about the sweet potato, it grows so fast. It spreads. Like this patch next year, I feel like could take over the whole, the whole hill. Yeah, next next two months you see it over here, just green. Yeah. You ain't seen the dot. You could just see the tree, the tomatoes, the oh, the potatoes just grow up and cover the whole piece of land. <laughs> next two months you know, you pass here, you see the dot. Yeah. Oh, no way! Yeah. So this is what the island is famous for, right? Yeah, yeah. the nutmeg, man. That's black gold. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it grew like that. Yeah. So it's, it's just the inside that we're used to seeing. Yeah, right? the inside. What go on now? When, when it fully open and you get the inside with the mace and the shell, the, um, the seed inside it. Yeah. You know, but you still have to take out the mace. And then you get the, the, the shell, you break off the shell and then you get the seed inside it. It's a protected fruit. Yeah? Yeah, because you got the skin outside. Then when you get away the skin, you get the red mace. And after you take off the mace, if you want the nut now, you have to break the shell to get the nut. So it's a protected species. Yeah, I did not think it would look like this. It yeah. almost looks like a little baby mango starting yeah, or something. Yeah. I'm looking for one or a fool. The leaf so. almost looks like a pimento leaf right. to me. It looks like that is true. It's the same shape. And, yeah, uh, same thing. So, oh man, so we can see inside one. Yeah. Tough, yeah? Yeah, it, it's open for itself when it gets full. It, it, it don't full yet. It's young still. Okay. Oh man, yeah, I've never seen this one. This is one of those, whoa, what the hell? See? Look how red it is. Right, that's wow. what I'm saying. The mace looks crazy. Yeah, that's this that's the shirt the skin here. Yeah. That's the mace. When it well dry, the mace come out easy. It turns a dark red, yeah. When it well full, you know full yet. You see how you look white still? Yeah. When the mace well full you get red, red like the whole thing down here. And what's mace used for again? Oh a lot of things. Perfume and Okay. They, they make soap, a lot of things. England use it more than we. I was going to say, because we just get the nutmeg powder ground up. Right. It's rare for us to get the mace. Yeah, but England make it oil and thing with them things. You have nutmeg oil selling in the store down here. Okay. Where you, if you have a pain, you just spray it right where you have the pain. Okay. And it's cool down the pain a little for you. So just look at that. That is so... Interesting looking. And it's even hidden inside there. See? Yeah. So when it, when it's full now, this thing could shake inside the, the shell. Ah, so it's, this one's just a little young, too young. Yeah, yeah young yeah. still. I just caught it that you could see, yeah. experience. The smell is still amazing. Yeah. So fresh and powerful. Yeah. It is next level. Oh man. Yeah, it's a it's a beautiful, unique flavor. There's nothing yeah, like it. I yeah. Smell this one. See? Okay. Smell different. Wow. Yeah, this, that is really crazy. This now, you peel you peel it and you boil it, and when it's cold, you make juice. Yeah. Even out of the skin. Yeah. It's, it's a nice taste, like mm -hmm. how you make any other juice, fashion fruit, 
pineapple juice. You could use that and make the same thing with it. Yeah, you could, you could, if you want to mix, you could make a mixture. Fashion fruit and nutmeg. Oh man. And it tastes good. This one tastes good by itself, but I mean to make it more solid, you could make a mixture yeah. for yourself and it's nice. Yeah, what a crazy fruit or nut. Like I don't know anything that else that has something like the mace growing around it that gets you. I can't compare it to anything. All right. All right. And when it full everybody go and pick it up and clean it and go and sell it and make some money. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know that's the reason why they call it black gold. Yeah. Because right now, people who have nutmeg, they could go in the pool and sell it and make some money. You understand? Yeah. So, so that is black gold for them because they don't have the, the gold gold. But they have the black one, which is this. This does get black. Yeah. It's a rare thing. It doesn't grow everywhere like yeah, this. Yeah. The, the inner, the outside part here, does yeah. get black. Okay. So that is black gold. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to try the mace. Just to get a taste of it. Full on mace. Here we go. Chew it up. Yeah, you could just chew it just to get the taste of it. The burning taste. Yeah. It's almost like a more tart tart version of it. Like a little bit of bitterness in it. Yeah, like a more you, powerful you nutmeg. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You like I feel like I did some snooze or chewing <laughs> tobacco or something. Ooh, I kinda like it though. Yeah it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. I like the little burn. I like yeah, the little the, tobacco burn the feel. Bu the burn making you feel good while traveling. You have that like your pepper in your mouth, you know? It's almost a little wake up. Like yeah, you wake you up. Mm -hmm. Right, you know? It's not that to say you have to chew it every day or you have to eat mm -hmm. it every day, you know? But you just chew a piece if you mind until you chew it and <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to keep it in my upper lip like snooze, like my Finnish friends. If you are too thick, when you, you, you're too hot in you, you use the the oil and you put in the gum, it stops mm -hmm. the pain. If you get this. Yeah, I do feel like a little bit of a numbing yeah. effect. Yeah. If you get this you now, you take a small portion and you fill up the hole where the teeth have. Oh, okay. And it stops the pain. These natural remedies are amazing. Yeah. Natural. One guy has some corn plant down there. Yeah. Plant some corn and some Peas. Some breadfruit too? Yeah, that's a bread nut tree. Oh, that's a bread nut. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. the one that always fools me. Yeah, you see how, <laughs> you see how broad the leaf yeah, is? Yeah, true. All right. I swear I'm getting a buzz from this mace. I'm like feeling something. I don't know if it's placebo, but I feel a buzz. I like it. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm going to keep it. Because <laughs> it's strong. You know? Yeah. It's a strong thing. Yeah, that's the next tree. Okay, you're you right. So, so it looks like a breadfruit, but the leaf is way, way bigger. Yeah. You're right, it's so much bigger. Just by the leaf you tell him the truth. Just by the leaf, you know? There's the Tanya. Yeah. Also known as Coco or Taro. Yeah. Yeah. So that is a popular one here too then. Yeah. yeah, they plant it a lot in this country. A lot of people plant it. I just plant it a lot too, but this year I ain't plant too much. Most of the plant is over by me, you know? I used to plant some over there. Yeah. But this year I was so busy and get tired up. I must stay around there to do my work on the house. But after I don't do the work, if I want to come over there I could still come and plant some, you know? Yeah. But I used to have a lot right over there. And this one seems to grow just anywhere, yeah. It's yeah. it's a pretty simple one to grow. I've seen it growing on people's yards by the yeah. river in the mountains. You come like anywhere you plant it, you just grow. When you root one tree you could get all eight, nine under the tree. Yeah. You don't have a lot. Yeah, it's a real popular one in Jamaica too. Yeah. Well, everywhere, I think. Southeast Asia, South Pacific. Yeah, they just call it a different name. Yeah, they all have different names, and but they all love it the same way. Mm -hmm. So, if you can tell, it's a hot one today. It's 90 degrees plus centigrade. I think it's 32, feels like 38 or 40 or something. No complaints, just mentioning. Oh man, okay, there's our little first look at some water here. That's a cup. Mm -hmm. A bush cup to drink some water in the bush. There you go. See that next bread nut tree, how big it is? Yeah. Huge, right? Yeah, it's way, way, way bigger. Yeah, okay. Now that I know, yeah. Oh, there's a red fruit up here. Oh, look. 
Someone just cut down a half of one. <laughs> Not so steady on a planting tree. Hey, surfed it. <laughs> oh, it's pretty ripe. I think your next one on me. The next one on it? The half one? No. The next. Yeah, hey, make a tool real quick. Oh, that works. Got it. Nice. There we go. Teamwork makes a dream work. Yeah, you know. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. And, and, and you go home with the rusty. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's a nice one. Yeah, you got some one more big still. That's a small one. These ones are this is the friendliest pear tree ever. Got a big one here. Oh well, it looks like the birds got it. This bite in it. Yeah, you can't get more convenient than a pear tree growing at mouth level. Pick that one? No, enjoy, enjoy. A little hard still. Young. Young. You see how they're shining? Yeah. They're all well full. Okay. When they when they well full, when you hold it and it shake like this. The inside of it shaking. Ah. Oh you'll hear the, the seed move. Yeah. Okay. Inside them when you shake them and the seed. You hear any seed? Gotta wait. That means good. Mm -hmm. Whoa, look at the milk just pour out of that one. Yeah. Take that one and coin back. Yeah. Don't forget mark. about it. I did. No, no, I did. There we know. There's a mark. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So? Yeah, that's where we pass. We pass over there. Whoa. And come to. Just through the woods, you can see the road where we pass. Okay. It's somewhere down there. And come up. Yeah. Come up by the bamboo. Cross the ravine. We've you done know. quite a bit already. Yeah. Yeah. We're almost there. The dam is not that far from here. Okay. And then as soon as there is the dam, the waterfall is just over it. Wicked. You know? I'm ready for a swim. Yeah, let you try that again. No cool on that side. Oh, absolutely. The second you get into the cool mountain yeah. valley side, you feel the temperature drop. Yeah, that side here more cool. Yeah. Over the wood. Yeah, the ground was much drier at the other spot. Just feels nice and soft here. I'm starting to hear a little bit of water. Yeah, bottom, right? It's down there. Yeah. Going right up. Look, a bit of a roadblock. Yeah. Watch your step. Whoa, as I say that, I trip. <laughs> Was there a big storm lately or something? No, but some of them bamboo when they get too tall. Ah. They just break. Yeah. Some of them break half and half. You know, see, like how this one bend it? Yeah. If you get too much weight, it breaks in the middle there. So. Oh, I see these flowers. I love these ones. Mm. I forget the name. Sometimes I call them just Rasta flower. We, we call it Bali J. Ah. We, we call it Bali J. It's a pretty one. Yeah. You see the leaf? Mm -hmm. we, we take the leaf and roll ganja and smoke. Yeah? Yeah, that's Bali J leaf. That's the flowers from the tree. Pretty color. Oh yeah, such a nice one. I think I've heard it called lobster claw. Again, yeah, one of these things that well, has so many names. Different names. In different countries, they call it different names. <sighs> she call it a different name. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. Stash it for home? <laughs> no, I just yes, any day for beauty. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah. Why not? To the rocky part. So when it rains, this must come down like crazy here. Yeah. <laughs> Doing some rock hopping. You come here? Yeah. Looks like it just 
drops off like a crazy cliff. When the water coming heavy, it's going to like steps from over there. You just come down and you chair, you fall down like a little waterfall. Boop. And you go there, you fall down, boop. And then you go down down there again. And they, this go in the same river what come out from so. You join it from there. You see people see in the water down there, you see down there? Mm -hmm. uh, that's the river from over there. So this going down to the river. So can you even bathe in spots like that yeah, when it's yeah. heavy? Yeah, you can yeah. just get your own pool. Yeah, and... it's good water. Mm -hmm. You could drink the water there. Nice. Yeah, it's not no water we're polluted. Mm -hmm. You know, all day, you could just brush out there and drink the water. It's good water. seeing some small trees below there. All here was not my land. Then people down so own that. People where I used to live down there in Mamakian had land over here so too. It's yeah. not too shady for a nutmeg or it just oh, overgrew no. this way? It wasn't like that. Oh uh, yeah. It's after a time then big trees grow up because nobody walked the land. But a long time when you pass here here kind of nice. Yeah, this forest is thick. There's so much life in here. That's better. Yeah. Got some good balance. <laughs> yeah. It's drier here. Don't want to get the nice kicks wet. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Wow, it's crystal clear. Yeah. That's why I can know you could bathe in and you could drink it, everything. I'm looking for crayfish and see none. Oh, you can see crayfish? Yeah. No way. You will see some over there. Okay. I've only ever seen the kind of smaller Jango, they call them. I have never seen the big, big ones. Yeah, like the uh, red tail, you have one with, with a red tail. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the bigger one to the smaller one because he has a small small one and that one with the red tail you have two big biter okay and then you have one they call ling a colored one sometimes like black and gray and you know different colors the guys that's gone hold them that does some of them does big okay yeah maybe we get lucky and see one yeah, yeah, yeah. so this is it at its cleanest yeah. Right here at the yeah, source. For, yeah. Nobody disturb it, you know? Nobody disturb it to say they're going around it. Just continue running and purify itself down there. When they use down there is pure water, you know? When they want to clean it, they, they wind up this. And this go up and all the water Boom. rush out, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And then they start taking out the mud and the stuff inside it. Mm. And then they lock them, they screw them back. It's pretty big. Yeah. I mean, compared to your size. And it don't leak in. No, it's so solid. No water coming through. Yeah, kind of amazing. And you, you seal it with a rubber, you see? Oh, uh, I see, yeah. With rubber underneath. Nothing like clean water. Yeah, it is clean water. Just to relax, you know? Your pool. Yeah, you see, so um, that's what I say now. When if you have too much of stuff, yeah, they go and they wind up this mm -hmm. and let the water out and take out some of the stuff. So the water go look more clean and fresh. Cause right now you look clean and fresh. You know what I'm saying? You can disturb it. It's a nice water. Just leave it as it is and yeah. You know, that's life. That's a natural way. That's how yeah. water comes out of the yeah, earth. Yeah, it's that, not like out of a pure pipe. Yeah, it's, that's life. That's you the know? real way. Yeah. We thought that we didn't have no pipe. We yeah. got to have that before we had the pipe. Yeah. So this water come first. Yeah. Then the pipe come after. Yeah. You understand? Because we thought the water in the river, no pipe. True. Everywhere you go, they had to build a, a, a dam. 
to get water to the villages. So water is an important thing, very important. You know, that's life. It looks like an infinity pool at a fancy hotel or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we pay big money for this in Singapore. It's deep, you know, it's deep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, even though it's filled up with stuff, yeah, you can yeah. tell. Yeah, if, if all this stuff come out, it's very deep. Yeah. You know, but yeah, time and time they go fix. They go kind of clean it and time again they just leave it as it is for a couple of months it just stay like that. Mm -hmm. Then they come and they because them guys don't they just come and inspect it, you know? They come if you need cleaning, they come and clean it. They come to see how high the water is so that they could open it down there. You know, because you see like it, it overflowed it now. That means you have a lot of water here. So they could give out more water down in the place down there. You understand? So, by doing that, they kind of balancing the, the water. Yeah, they reserve some of it in yeah, case. Yeah. yeah. And again, there is no one around here. It is quiet, pristine. I've not seen barely any trash at all. It's, it's so clean and nice. The original way of the forest. That's the gum tree. Whoa! Okay, that's one you're telling me about. Yeah. Wow. You see like this here now? Yeah. You take this off. Oh, it's thick and sticky, man. And you, you can light fire with it, you know? No way. Yeah, you can, you can light the fire when you need fire. You just put that and you blaze it and the fire catch. Okay. How long does that have to dry for? That one's already out the tree, so it's already good to go. Yeah, you have to dry dry if you want to use it. How sticky is it still? Yeah, it kind of being well dry. Oh, it still feels pretty dry. Yeah. Any dry brick, like. Kind of smells like a pine almost. Yeah, it is a pine tree, I think. Let's see? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, very piney. Yeah. Almost reminds me of a eucalyptus, almost like a, yeah. almost a kind of mintiness. Incense. Yeah. Some of them incense that they selling uh, out in the store. When it's too dry, it'll break out while you're taking it out. But you see when it's soft? Yeah. It come out from the tree better. Okay. When it's when it dry while you're selling the cutlass, I know it's breaking up. See when it's soft, it's easy, but you have to watch yourself because it's sticky. Yeah. Make your hand get sticky. Oh, yeah, you get a lot. Yeah. You get some more later on, I just. Okay, stash it for after. Yeah, yeah. We've got a lot of stash spots to visit. We got two breadfruit, some of the gum. Yeah. I have to get a big leaf and put it. Oh, yeah, there's a nice big one. Yeah, you gotta pull it up. Lots of gum. Yeah, ship? yeah, that's a crazy shape. Is that the strangler fig on it? The, yeah. Is that the one that kills the tree and then... Oh, no, they, this thing like a vine. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. In the mountain, you have different vines that just grow up on the trees, you know? Sick boy. There you go. <laughs> I nailed it. You got it? Yeah. That's some pure Tarzan action right there. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Let me give you one more. Yeah. Is this one you've used before? Yeah, I'm just trying to see how strong it is. Whoa. Ross Jing has got some natural swing sets all set up in the forest here. Yeah, you gotta test it. Yeah. <laughs> Coming down now. Yeah, maybe not that strong. Yeah. Oh. No good. Okay, no good. Good try. No good. I can see why you test first. Yeah. <laughs> you see, I cut that one before. Yeah, it looked okay. It looked like you'd cut it, but 
I guess things change. <laughs> yeah, it dry up. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's the reason why I'm I testing it, to see how strong it is. <laughs> Good call. Oh. <laughs> Coming down. Oh, that tree looks so small it's on. Yeah, Don't try this at home, kids. You gotta choose wisely. <laughs> Travel by vine. <laughs> so when you're choosing a vine to swing on, what's the most important thing to most know? Most important thing, make sure you're dry. It's not a dry vine. And make sure it's strong enough from on top where you hook onto. Yeah. So that you could carry your weight. And anytime you could carry your weight, you have to put your rest for yourself. The, the in and out now, you have to know how to swing and how to get down, you know? If you don't know how to get down, you could jump down and broke your foot. Mm -hmm. But a good way to cross the river if you know how. Yeah, you, you cross the river like that, you know? And I could show you right here. All right. You cross, <laughs> you know? This style. So if the river is high enough, you cut that, go up on you. You heave and you balance yourself. Nice. But you have to physical. You have to have that physicalness in you. It's not just say you go do it. You have to have that spirit and that physical movements in you still. Your body have to be slack. It can be tight and you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so <weird. laughs> That's the vine, the mountain vine. Black Tarzan. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Tarzan take that thing from we, you know, because in Africa you see that. And they make the movie about Tarzan swinging on trees. Only black man does do them thing when they can do nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. The river expands. We can plenty of rain. When's rainy season here? Mm. And last month we get a lot of rain. June, July, we get some rain. Yeah. yeah. How the season does go sometimes, you know, even thinking about it and rain come, you know? That's why it's good to always have something you could put in the earth, plant in the earth, you know what I mean? Some food, some fig, banana, yam, anything you could get to put in the earth. You put it at them time there, because the earth does be more soft to work. You fog the earth, and you make some bank, and you plant up your food. So when, when I say get very hot now, you already have some food in the earth. We are extremely close to the fall now. You can hear it. Uh, I gotta watch my step because it is kind of wetter on this side. And very much looking forward to a swim. Yeah, I can't wait. Okay. Oh, this is a fresh one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's very fresh. First sight of the falls. That is amazing. Wow. That is crazy. Yeah, what a spot. I mean, and this must, you get it to yourself all the time. There's like no one around here. Really. Yeah, sometimes me alone come up here and just chill. Just sit down and listen to the water and burn a spliff and Suck a mango, eat up, man. Then I go back down. Yeah. You know, just to cool the mind, the mind. You know? Yeah, what a spot! My God! Love it! Oh, yeah. Watch your step. Yeah, definitely watch your step. Yeah! Oh! Yeah! Holy! Oh man! Yeah, you feel the breeze just blast by you. Yeah! the hill 
It is super steep, kind of muddy. So we're way up above the falls now here. That's the gum tree. Here's another gum one? Yeah. That one there is one too. All the big trees like that. Okay. Well, that's when it's super gummy. Yeah. Oh yeah, huge piece. Yeah, you see? Yeah. yeah. Soft steel. Yeah, when you rest it down, you get hard. When, as soon as you put it home, you stay there and you get hard, hard. Okay. It's better, it better when it's soft to collect it. When you collect it soft, it's easier to come out from the tree. Ah, uh, I see. When you too dry on the tree and you juking it like that, you just mashing up in powder. Ah. Uh. Yeah. That looks like that was a successful sap yeah. mission. I get a good bit. Wow, man. Yeah. That's how you have to get it when you gain it, you know? Get it plentiful. You sell it, you know, you could sell it $5 a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, you could sell a portion $5. I got to give a lady some. Okay. Is that way more than you would normally find? Oh, you yeah. Sometimes you get some less, less than that. You see that? Like nobody didn't interfere with that piece there. So I lock it today. No doubt. Oh yeah, sticky icky. Yeah, you do. You do dry it. Mm. You gotta dry it. Go up a little higher. Mm -hmm. To see the, um, the cave. Okay. If you want to see the cave, let me go higher. Sure. Mm. We're already here. Oh, nice. Oh, these are delicious. You gave them to me yesterday. I, I ate probably five of them. Yeah. Oh, mango break. Oh. So good here. Yeah, so there, there's some ripe ones you just found. Yeah. Super dark, yeah? Way different color. So this grow on the ground and they crack open on their own? No, it come from the big tree. Ah. That's the big tree right there. So. Yeah. That's the nutmeg tree. The small ones then grow up because nobody pick up the nutmeg and the earth. So huh? these are all the little ones growing? Yeah, that's plants. You could take huh. them. You could take them and plant them. Transplant them. Yeah, look at all of them. There's so many. Yeah. Amazing. Plant it in your land. I'm seeing them all over the place now. Here's another one. Is it still good then, Rush Jr.? Yeah, the inside. And then I see even more. There's so many. That's nutmeg. Look at that. So much. Yeah, timber! Hey, dodged it. <laughs> so unexpected nutmeg score. That was amazing. I mean, that stuff's expensive at home, especially when it comes with the mace. So pretty cool to see in, in the wild. See people don't come up here that much. No, people I guess not. You are getting black up. This is the ultimate way to stay fit. Bushwalking with the machete. So you get yeah. the lower body and the upper body. Yeah, you cut the bush while you're walking. Yeah. You got to make a trace one time, you know? Yeah. All right, here we are. I forget, to, you know, I forget to bring a light. I got the phone light. Actually, I have a light in my camera bag. Yeah. I see a bat in there. Yeah, you got some bat inside there. Okay. So you, uh, the camera don't have no light on it? This one, no, but I got my other light. Well, right, I got so something. You could go right in front there and take a picture with the hole. Oh, look at him go. Hey guys. Uh, since I'm growing up that here. Yeah. All my great grandmother and them grew up with this cave right here. They knew here. about it too. Wow. Yeah. Well, when we were small, they make we scared of it, you know? Yeah. It's when you get big man now, you, you want to explore yourself. You, you do what you want. Let's you know? go check the bat cave, man. Yeah. <sighs> Any holy light? Thank you. 
Thank you. Good seeing it. Oh wow, it goes deep. Does it go all the way through to the other side? Yeah, we go, we go past on the next side. Okay. <laughs> because the hole here is small. Yeah. You hear them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think we have to go for it. Whoa! Oh, a lot, man. Whoa, man! Yeah, it's a good bit. <laughs> <laughs> So we go through this way or no? We go no, the other way. Pass the next way. I don't okay. Want to go, I don't want to go down this All right. Side. That is free freaky. Yeah. It's a quite the hidden spot. We're going to the back of the cave. I got this handy loom cube thing. It's real nice. Very handy. Very bright. It was more deep, you know? Oh yeah? Yeah, all here was the cave. Huh. But, but by trees growing and the dirt moving, it come like that now. See? Come on. Okay, yeah, so... So we could see the light from the other side, just barely. Yeah, you can see the light. But yeah, kind of hard to get out, huh? Yeah. See, so what I want to do, I want to come and dig out a portion. Yeah, yeah. We could... Walk in here. This bat's trying to get back in. Yeah, you have a lot of bats in there. Yeah. Yeah, as it was whole. Yeah. So it just got washed in, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the water fall down, the water come down on the mud, mm -hmm. just washed away, and trees start growing up. So it, it gets shorter. The, the cave was more long. Yeah. But by Breaking down the bank and thing, it gets shorter. So you could climb through pretty easily before? Yeah, yeah. You, you, you could have go through it, right you. You understand, but now it's getting in a way, if nobody does take care of it, it might be no use, no, you understand? Back to the earth. Yeah, so it's, it's people now to come and take care of it. I don't always come and visit it, you know, because Sometimes when I don't have nothing to do by my house, I take a walk and it's up here. I come and just watch the cave, watch the down there, so where the water is down there. Mm -hmm. You know, I just sit down by the waterfall down there for 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. Then I go down by the um, the dam and then I go home. But out here, me and my friend, we walk out here, so you have a, a swamp in the back down there. But you don't see no water, it's just grass. So you can't take a chance to go there, you don't, you don't know how yeah, yeah. inside there is. Well, it's a big swamp from over there so to quite down in the bottom down there. You just can't take a chance to go in it. And so we have not ran into one person today? No, people hardly come up here. It's only when you, you're on your journey, you're on your journey. But you don't hear people, voice. No way around here. No cars, no anything. Nothing here. Uh, pure nature. Just, just quiet, you know? Oh, it's a quiet place. You see how they cut out all the small ones from the big ones? Yeah. That's what they did. So th what's the name of this one again? Babwandi. And this is the one that you make the wine with? Yeah. Okay. You just, you just, when you drink the wine, you smell the bar one day in it. Yeah, it smelled this. I could sense it right away. That was what I drank. Yeah. 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 So Jenga makes a wine with this and five finger or star yeah. fruit. Super good, super healthy. And it has a very interesting taste. It almost it smells like a cleanser of some kind. It is. It is a cleanser. But uh, a tasty one in a weird way. Yeah, it cleanse your blood. Do they prefer the smaller roots? Yeah. Guys, then those come on. Because they can take a whole piece rather than just, uh, yeah, because yeah, if you're, you can't take nothing from here, it's way too much, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, this is definitely one I haven't heard about. And it's a big one. You know, no small one with it. See, they, they cut it right here already. They cut it? Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Someone beat you to it. Yeah, we cut all, all the small ones. Probably someone you know too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a guy does come here all the while. A lot of people come and look for that.
you get your oh, there's a bunch of them. Yeah, you get your coconut. Yeah. You chew up the coconut. Yeah. And you chew it in the water. A lot of crayfish come ah. out. Yeah. I've never seen so many just chilling around. Yeah. It was great being with you today. You know, I enjoyed the, the walking and the child, you know what I mean? And the people on there, man, and they support that. Kind of support that thing there because that thing is a big thing. That's not a little thing. It's a big thing. That is health. Because when you sit down in your house, your health deteriorating. When you move, you're picking up strength. You know, so. Come outside and walk and do a little run too if you could run. You know? Because I, I like to see my people healthy, not sick. When they sick, it bother me. I like to see them healthy in a good position. I know everybody has to get sick sometimes, but there are some people get sick and they don't want it. They should be more healthy than that. So I like my people and them to be healthy. I don't tell them to follow me and every time come and check me for to bring them there because some of them can't make it. Oh well, yeah, someone could make it. Just go and link me if I want to go and see the dam, if I want to go and see the waterfall, I want to see the cave. Just link me up and I bring all you right there. No problem. If I'm hungry, I feed all you too, you know what I mean? So it's just love and happiness we deal with. So you know, this day was a very nice day, I enjoyed it. So give thanks, man. Give thanks, plus up, man. Yeah, man. Respect. I love that, that day. It was amazing. Yeah, and the people who come before, I enjoy myself with them too. Because when we go up there, it's the same thing we kind of deal with, you know. They love the waterfall, they love where the water coming out to come down in the village. They love the cave. It's not everyone are bringing the cave, but mm. those are bringing the cave, they love to see the hole. Yeah. And they're asking me, who dig it? I don't know who dig it, you know, but it's question to ask about it, so... I did not to answer the question, but I did to bring you right there and see the hole. So I, I could tell you, well, that is a hole I grew up with, knowing the hole there from since I was born, and since my grandmother and them was around, they still used to tell me about a hole. And I still go in there, so... Just give thanks for the day, man, and health and strength to everyone, you know? Bless up again, my brother. Yeah, man, bless up. Yeah, man, love.